In this video, we will be solving this question which says Joan likes chocolate cake and ice cream but after 10 slices of cake, she gets tired of cake and eating more cake makes her less happy. Joan always prefer more ice cream to less. Joan parents require her to eat everything put on her plate. In the axis below, use blue ink to draw a set of indifference curve that depict her preferences between plates with different amounts of cake and ice cream. Be sure to label the axis. We have this graph where on the x-axis we have chocolate cake and on the y-axis we have ice creams. It is given the question that Joan likes chocolate cake and ice cream but after 10 slices of cake she gets tired of cake and eating more cake makes her less happy. But Joan always prefer more ice cream to less. That means there is a change in the behavior of Joan before 10 slices of cake and after 10 slices of cake. So graphically we will have the bifurcation at 10 slices of chocolate cake which is represented by this red line. Note that this red dash line is not really a part of your indifference curve. We are just drawing it so that we are easily able to distinguish between the behavior of Joan which is before 10 slices of chocolate cake and after 10 slices of chocolate cake. Now what happens before 10 slices of chocolate cake? Before 10 slices Joan likes both chocolate cake and ice cream which means for this particular range Joan has well behaved preferences that means her preferences are monotonic and convex and if that is the case then her indifference curve will normally look like this which is a usual nice indifference curve. So for this particular range her indifference curve would be this. Now note that since we are not given a really much information about exact what her preferences would be we are just given that she likes both of the goods. Even if you draw your indifference curve like this that is fine or it is like this then that is also fine till the point indifference curve shows that her preferences are monotonic and convex. So I am just taking this shape randomly there is no necessity that this has to be a particular shape. Now let's draw the indifference curve for the second half that is after 10 slices of chocolate cake. Now note that according to the question her behavior changes after 10 slices of chocolate cake that is she gets tired of the cake and eating more cake makes her less happy that is after 10 slices of cake the every slice she consumes gives her a lower level of satisfaction. Also it is given that Joan parents require her to eat everything put on her plate. So if there are more than 10 slices of cake then she does not really have an option to leave them as it is. Her parents need her to finish everything that is on her plate. That means she has to consume those cakes even if those slices of cakes are giving her low lower level of satisfaction. Now if that is the case then then after 10 slices of cake your chocolate cake becomes a bad commodity. Now what do you mean by a bad commodity? So a bad is a commodity that consumer doesn't like. So consider this case where on the x axis we have pepperoni and on the y axis we have anchovies and we are considering that consumer loves pepperoni but does not like anchovies and let us also suppose that there is some possible trade off between the pepperoni and anchovies that is there would be some amount of pepperoni on the pizza that would compensate the consumer for having to consume a given amount of anchovy. Now if that is the case then how would her preferences be? So suppose she is at this consumption consumption bundle where she is consuming this much amount of pepperoni and this much amount of anchovies where she is on the second indifference curve. Now if we give the consumer more anchovies that is her anchovies are risen to this level then in order to keep her on the same indifference curve we have to give her more pepperoni. As she likes pepperoni but dislikes anchovies that is we have to give him extra pepperoni to compensate him for having to put up with the anchovies. Thus the consumer's indifference curve must slope upwards. That is why the indifference curve has positive slope. But also note that the direction of increasing preferences is towards down and right that is towards the direction of decreased anchovies and increased pepperoni just 
like the arrows in the diagram illustrated. So let's apply this concept to a question. Now we know that Joan does not like chocolate cake but she likes ice cream which is something happening after your 10 slices of chocolate cake. Now at this level if she has one more slice of chocolate cake on her plate suppose she is here. Now in order to make her eat that extra slice of chocolate cake we have to compensate her with the extra amount of ice cream because that extra slice of chocolate cake would make her satisfaction level go down but we want her to remain at the same level of indifference curve that means we have to increase her satisfaction by giving her more ice cream that means her next point would be somewhere here where she is having 11 units of chocolate cake and 5 units of ice cream that means her graph will look like this or if I draw it in a formal manner it will look like this which is sloping upwards as in order to make her consume more chocolate cake we have to give her more ice cream now again your graph could be like this or this the slope could be anything since that much detail is not given in the question we are just really concerned that how her preferences would look like that is it would be sloping upwards now note that you might think that this graph and this graph are quite different but see that in this graph we had bad commodity on the y-axis but here we have bad commodity on the x-axis that's why your graph has changed accordingly so this blue graph is your graph for your zone for the given preferences in the question and likewise you can draw another graph which is just below or above depicting her another level of satisfaction now the question further says that suppose that Joan preferences are as before but that her parent allows her to leave anything on her plate that she doesn't want. So on the graph below use the red ink to draw some indifference curve depicting her preferences between plates with different amount of cake and ice cream. So Joan preferences remains the same like that. Well 10 slices of cake she likes both ice cream and chocolate cake which means her preferences are well behaved just like before. But now her parent Parents have allowed her to leave anything that is on her plate that she doesn't want. Whereas earlier, Joan parents require her to eat everything on her plate. So earlier, Joan parents wanted her that whatever there is on her plate, she has to has to finish it even if it is giving her less level of satisfaction. But now somehow they understood that it's fine that she can leave anything on her plate. So again, we have the same graph where on the x-axis you have chocolate cake and on the y-axis you have ice cream. Joan preferences remains the same that is till 10 slices of cake. Her preference are well behaved that means she likes both chocolate cake and ice cream and eventually she will finish whatever is there on her plate till 10 slices of cake in spite of the fact that her parents allow her to leave anything on her plate that she doesn't want so for this particular region your preferences are well behaved that is they're monotonic and convex does your indifference curve would look like this now what happens the moment she eats 10 slices of chocolate cake she gets tired of cake and eating more cake makes her less happy but but her parents says that it's fine whatever is there on your plate you can leave it that means now she is indifferent to the amount of chocolate cake there on her plate in economic terms you know, chocolate cake has turned to be a neutral good so what do you mean by that a good is said to be a neutral good if the consumer doesn't care about it one way or the other now consider this example where you have anchovies on the y-axis and pepperoni on the x-axis and now the consumer is neutral about anchovies so he is neutral about anchovies and he likes pepperoni so since he is neutral he only cares about the amount of pepperoni he has and does not care at all about how many anchovies he has the more pepperoni the better so but adding more anchovies does not affect him one way or the other does your indifference curve a vertical line where your preference direction is towards the right where he is having more amount of pepperoni and he is indifferent to the anchovies so let's apply this concept here now in our particular scenario Joan is neutral with the chocolate cake as her parents allow her to leave anything on her plate so she does not really care about how much chocolate cake is left on her plate she would just plainly leave it but she likes ice cream 
so after 10 slices of chocolate cake whatever cake is there on her plate it would give her the same level of satisfaction as she gets at this point so so in order to keep her on the same indifference curve if she is at this level of chocolate cake then she will just leave it she is indifferent to it thus your indifference curve would look like this that is your straight horizontal line if we draw a indifference curve for different level of satisfaction then it will look like this now note that here the preference direction is this as after 10 units of chocolate cake your chocolate cake becomes neutral good now again you might see that here the indifference curve was vertical line but here we have horizontal line reason remains the same that you have a neutral commodity here on the y axis but here your neutral good is on the x axis that's why your graph has changed accordingly so that was all for this question